I got a few tips of how you can get the most out of your 1TB Lexa SSD drive. It came with a USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable as well as a USB Type-C to Type-C. And the connection, it supports USB 3.1. So the most optimum connection would be using this cable directly plugged into um, MacBook Pro, like this. Let's do a live testing using the Blackmagic speed test. Let's select the target drive to be the Lexa 1TB open. We select 5 GB as the stress testing um, capacity. As you can see, we're getting 471, 72 megabytes per second. And on the box, it claims to be 500 megabytes per second. Read and write. Okay, let's see that. Read is 508 megabytes per second. Very close. Okay, um, I think that's pretty consistent. If we switch over to this cable, you will see a reduced speed via types, uh, you know, type C to USB 3 hub. Let's try that. Let's stop it. And most importantly, we should eject. We got to eject the drive properly. Unplug. Always make sure you do that step to avoid any damage to the drive. Now let's connect it to the USB Type 3 using the uh, included Type C to Type 8 cable. Okay, done. Let's try that. We can see the driver appeared here. Let's select target drive just to make sure we have um, the correct target selected. And open and do start. Okay, it is a bit over 400 megabytes per second. 404, right? And the read is pretty much the same, 410. Um, that is like uh, about 90 megabytes per second less than using the USB Type-C 3.1 connection to the MacBook Pro. Yeah, pretty consistent. Yeah. All right. And that's how you get the most out of your Lexa 1TB SSD portable drive. By the way, this is a MacBook Pro from 2017, 13 inches. It's very compact, build quality is excellent.